Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Sour Kool-Aid Show! Hi there. What's up? Good to see you all. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, so welcome, welcome to the first uh, live TwitchCon roast of, of Spamfish. Of Spamfish. If we, if we do it right, maybe they'll invite us back. And if they don't, I'd like you to blame Spamfish for, uh, for messing it all up. But uh, I think we're gonna have fun tonight. Um, I'm really excited about this. Like, he's, he's one of my favorite casters, and absolutely, without a doubt, like the laziest streamer on Twitch. <laughs> <If you, laughs> like, for real. He does nothing at all. Like, he deserves this. Uh, many of you maybe have not seen a roast. If you haven't seen a roast, uh, I, I don't want you to think that we all hate each other. We do. I just... I just don't want you to think that we do. So please keep in mind that this is all in good fun and that Spamfish absolutely deserves this. <laughs> he, he had a choice of the roasters. He could, he could invite anybody that he wanted to, so he invited them there. And uh, so, so we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I hope you're really excited. I'm really excited. We get to celebrate somebody, an old school like a uh, beloved caster that's been around for a long time, so I'm very excited about it. Um, but without further ado, let's, let's introduce our distinguished panel of guests, who I like to refer to as the Ball Busters. Here come the Roasters. These guys, these guys, look at these guys. What a motley crew. I'm so excited. So, uh, so we got like, let me introduce some of these people to you just in case you don't know them. So, uh, we've got uh, John Carnage in the group. He is the, uh, he's the live programming director for Twitch and uh, other adult sites. <laughs> so, if you are experiencing any technical difficulties uh, with those adult sites, and also Twitch, maybe, uh, then please do not bother him, because I need him here tonight for this. So I'd, I'd prefer to have him here for that. Uh, he's got a very robust resume, very impressive gentleman. He started out as an ordinary cam girl. <laughs> <laughs> worked, worked his way up, yeah. Worked his way up to a cam boy. <laughs> and then went back to a cam girl, because it paid better. <laughs> and then became the live programming director of Twitch. So, <laughs> we, and unfortunately, uh, cam girl still pays better, but Twitch does, have, Twitch does have a free donut day in the morning on Mondays, so if he can drag his ass out of bed and get up before all the maple bars are gone, it makes it worth it, he told me. So thank you for being here, Mr. Carnage. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I used to be a camera. You can do it too. Thank you. Thank you. We have uh, Rescue Viper here in the house tonight. Yeah. I just met him. I just met him just a little bit ago. I, I'd never met him before, and, and I thought I was too old to be here. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's true. It's, I know, man. It's what the hell kind of name is Rescue Viper? What are you, a Top Gun pilot or something? <laughs> yeah, well, two times. <laughs> I don't know. Like I, it's, uh, we really should have gotten swifter instead. 
<laughs> and, instead, we instead we got this like this washed up, uh, balding um, landlord. He looks like my landlord. <laughs> Except even my landlord plays first-person shooters better than this guy. Like, have you watched him play first-person shooters? Like, I think in most of those games, there's a targeting system that they're, you're clearly not utilizing no. in the game. But I, anyway, I'm glad you're here, and the rent check is in the mail. Awesome. Late again. <laughs> Future Man Gaming is here. Nice moves. We're very lucky to have him. We're very lucky to have him. When I told Twitch it was going to take 1.21 gigawatts to get him to come out here, they laughed in my face. <laughs> oh, burn. Next joke. Next joke. Sometimes you pause and like it, it'll come around. And then they'll, they'll be like, oh, it's a Back to the Future joke. And other times they'll just be like, god damn it. <laughs> uh, but no, he's, he's, I'm, I'm very lucky to have you here, he's, man, Future Man Gaming, here, from the future, right, very grim future, Yeah. very grim. I asked him who was going to win the next presidential uh, election, he said, doesn't matter, we'll kill him anyway. <laughs> like, he, he doesn't care, like, he's, he's off, like, playing games, he's trying to beat games and stuff while ignoring more pressing matters like cancer and global warming and uh, government anarchy and stuff like that. But he's known for his, his dancing moves, which are pretty nice, if you're on acid. <laughs> watching Future Man without the influence of drugs or alcohol is kind of like watching a panda bear fail to copulate over and over. <laughs> Very sad, sobering affair. Like you can't do it. It's true. It's true. People watch it. Ezekiel 3 is here. Man versus game is here. He's one, Man vs. Game is one of my oldest friends. Um, you, can, you can watch him stream like any time or not at all. And uh, his friendship works the same way. But I love him regardless. I love him regardless. It's worth every penny to have him here on the panel tonight. Pay me enough. <laughs> man, man will stream for a full week under the influence of nothing but caffeine. That's right. Really? <laughs> Clearly, the rest of us are drinking a different kind of coffee. <laughs> Mine comes from the supermarket, from an unarmed man with a full set of teeth, not named Bumpy. Honestly, it's hard for him, for me to watch him anymore. Like, I'd almost rather wake up in the morning in bed next to my mother than watch this ex-emo corporate sellout. <laughs> Honestly, his cat makes more donations than I do. Scrolling back to my Ezekiel 3 notes. <laughs> this is another dear friend of mine. Another, another good friend of mine. Uh, I've known him, known him for a very long time. He's actually the, the godfather of my two-year-old son, who he is not allowed near. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> He's not allowed near any child. I mean, if we're gonna go over that, like, just... From, like, 
born to 18 until what, like 2020, 21? I can't remember. But they should have locked you up. Yeah, okay. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. I don't want you to think that he's a child molester. Uh, <laughs> He strictly molests adults. <laughs> Which is weird because Zeke himself is very childlike. If you watch his stream, like, that's all he does. He, he breaks things and he throws tantrums and he cries and he poops his pants. <laughs> and people love it. You guys are idiots. <laughs> But his stream is growing like some kind of funky, awful bacteria that you can't scrub away. <laughs> Speaking of scrubs. <laughs> let's bring out our target for the evening. That seat's too good for him. I wonder if we could get him a, a, a proper throne. Is there anyone back here who can bring out a throne? There we go. That's good. Thank you. Proper. Amazon money. That's good. That's good on your ass. I called him the laziest caster on Twitch, uh, and it's, it's true, he's very worthless, um, very lazy, very lazy, like seriously, if, if Spam were a fish, he wouldn't even swim, like he, he would just, if Spamfish were a fish, he would just sink to the bottom of the ocean and sit there on the bottom, and, and then he'd apologize to all the other fish, like, I'm so sorry for lack of swimming lately, I'm, I'll tell you, I'm so sorry, I'm so... I'm so blessed to be part of this wet and uh, wonderful community. We, you all float above me. It's like, there's so many talented swimmers out there. Like, I just, I feel so awful. It's like so many of you deserve the entire ocean, the seaweed, the, the coral, the cake, the money, seagulls. It's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm just laying here in the sand, mate. I apologize, I feel awful. If spam fish were, a, were spam, it'd be the same thing. I'm so sorry for lack of sandwiches. I'm like, I should be in your sandwich, mate. I'm so sorry. She's like, I'm, I feel so bad. I feel blessed to be a part of this, uh, this wonderful community where I just feel like I'm being gnashed by her teeth and swallowed, like the world's trying to chew me up and spit me out. Like, but, uh, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm just getting so nervous and depressed about being eaten by you. I should have quit with just the fish one, huh? <laughs> Can't blame me for trying another one. He lurks in my stream sometimes, though. Or he, he, he says he does. He says he does. I honestly think he's just too lazy to type in chat. Like, he's got these excuses or whatever. Well, I, that bag of weed isn't going to smoke itself. <laughs> He's a fan of the NFL, of American football. That's a, yeah, like, yeah, he, I don't know, though. I think he's lying. Like, I don't think he's telling the truth. Like, I don't know how anyone can be a fan of the NFL and still root for the Chicago Bears. <laughs> That's a sports joke, you nerds. Come on. Actually, my favorite thing, my favorite thing, if you guys have ever watched Spamfish play Grand Theft Auto, who's watched Spamfish play Grand Theft Auto? It's probably the best thing ever. It's the best thing ever, because I think he really believes that's America. <laughs> I think he really thinks that's American culture. Like, I got to hang out with Spamfish at PAX Prime, and it, like, he was constantly like, tugging my, like, when we, go, when are we gonna go to the strip club, mate? Let's steal a car. 
He punched some random bitch on the street. I was like, spam! He's like, how long before the cops come? I'm really excited to do this roast for you, man. I love you very much. And uh, you know this is all in love. So uh, you got, you're, are you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready. You're ready. He's ready. You guys ready for the roast? Sounds good. Let's bring up our first roaster. I would like it to be Ezekiel 3. <laughs> dad? Is my fucking dad here? Get out of here, you dick! <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm a nice guy. I didn't, I didn't fucking. I didn't even prepare for this. I'm kidding. No, I'm. I'm I'll wing it. All right. Let's start off with um, a man who has no introduction. RSQ Viper. Um, uh, I just want to say to to Viper. Uh, I found you recently. But I can't believe that your cast has been around this long and you still suck this bad. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you guys ever been to this channel? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I'm sorry. I did. I caught your cast a couple of times. And let me tell you, it's like um, an open mic night on drunk, shitty amateur night. <laughs> he tries so hard to make you laugh, and it's actually quite sad, which makes me laugh, so I guess it is funny. So yeah. congratulations, right. very nice. John, motherfucking Carnage. <laughs> All right, I'm here, that's me. I'm just gonna keep firing until one of these hits. I'm not doing so well. Anyway, John Carnage, yeah. uh, I love you. Thank you. But I am convinced that you are just three toddlers in a human suit. <laughs> <laughs> and someone is giving you pixie sticks. <laughs> And LSD. <laughs> um, no, he's one of the high, hardest guys to work with or around. <laughs> he's, a, he's like the Tasmanian devil, only he spits more and harder, under, harder to understand. Wow. What is he doing? <laughs> Hold on, let me try that again. He's like the Tasmanian devil, only he spits more and he's harder to understand. I once saw, look at his shirt, I once saw him eat an orchid off of a centerpiece at a fancy dinner, and Twitch puts this guy in charge of shit. <laughs> That's me. That's me. Uh, Soma was supposed to be up here, but he's not here. Do you guys know Soma? <laughs> I decided to roast him anyway since he's not here. Um, I just want to say, like, he wins the award for most used-to-be-good-looking guy on Twitch. <laughs> And now look at him, he's just, he's a sweaty, doughy mess. Um, the, the only reason why he gets gigs for Twitch is because he knows how to tongue DJ Weed's balls. His head is so far up DJ Weed's ass, they should cosplay a centaur. And there's DJ Weed. I remember watching his first broadcast when he played Rock. And then the sequel, Rock 2, Gravel's Revenge. Uh, I can't believe they picked him, DJ Weed, of all people, to be the voice of Twitch. He's got like this most stereotypical, if you really listen, he's got the most stereotypical nerd voice out there. It's like a guy pushing up his glasses going, and now welcome back to PAX Prime 2015. It's very nice to have him. That's all I have for him. <laughs> um, oh, Future Man! I just look at him and I think, white douche. Oh. <laughs> We're about here. White douche! I just don't have the effects. Speaking of that, I watch your channel on several occasions. You got loud music, gimmicks, you've even got a voice changer. Where do you got where'd you get that idea? 
I'm sorry. Hang here. I like, you know what? I like how Future Man went from teaching the youth of America, actually doing some good in the world, to dancing around like an ass clown playing video games. How do you sleep at night? DP, one of my best friends. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to miss you. Uh, one of my best friends, but his channel just is awful. Um, DP is like that guy in the insane asylum who puts on King Lear. He knows every line, does every character, but his performance is for a wall. <laughs> Have you ever seen DP do any characters? They are phenomenal. However, there are two that I think you should work on. I've seen them. Uh, husband and father. Oh. <laughs> or better yet, or better yet, you could try a new character called successful guy. <laughs> and then there's spam fish. <sighs> look at this guy. Just look at him. He is extremely fortunate that he made it on the internet. Where else would an ugly, short, unintelligible English moron make just barely enough to live on? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you English. I know that's just a character. Oh, he is English? I'm sorry again. If you ever watch this channel, you sit back and wonder how in the sweet fuck he turns on a computer, let alone puts together a broadcast. <laughs> watching spam is like watching Coco the Gorilla learn fucking sign language after the ape smoked an entire eighth of Mexican red hair from a gravity bomb. <laughs> you wonder why England has such shitty food? It's because Jagoff stoners like spam ate all the fucking Funyuns. But wait, there's more. He's also a filthy drunk. <laughs> spam, spam reminds me of what Russell Brand used to be, except he's not funny or attractive. <laughs> but that's why I don't blame him for doing drugs and drinking alcohol, because if I had his life, I would try and escape that too. <laughs> oh, and I had one last one. Uh, Man vs. Game, fuck him. <laughs> I guess I have to introduce who's next. Um, come on up, uh, Future Man Gaming. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name's Future Man. I uh, just want to say this is not really my gig. I'm not really known uh, to be negative or, or hurtful, but uh, with that said, uh, DP, fuck you, you micro dick, fat ass piece of shit. You sucks at video games, you fucking fucker! Is cursing allowed, by the way? I don't know. Okay. Uh, how are you even allowed to operate a vehicle? You, like, are the. <laughs> I'm watching you play Mario, and it's just like. Walk, die, walk, die, walk, die, death simulator. You have a child, oh my god. <laughs> It's so, it's so you can beat somebody in video games, isn't it? It's so you can beat somebody in video games, okay. Your aptitude for streaming, you're just on par, you're on par with probably, I would say, a bag of sand, maybe. I would say a bag of sand about. Uh, please switch to hitbox ASAP. Thank you, dude. We're starting the petition. They'd love to have you. Actually, I don't know if they would. Um, next we got Man vs. Game, Dark Souls, and Cat Enthusiast. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of souls, when did you sell yours? You're like a fucking zombie. My God. I know you dye your hair black, uh, but the real question on everybody's mind is, does the carpet match the drapes? No? Now we know. Okay. All right. Uh, 
If, uh, if I were going to draw a portrait of you, it would just be a stick man. You are a skinny motherfucker. <laughs> uh, forget Jenny Craig, it's the Jason Love diet. I'm on it, it's working pretty well. Yeah. Uh, the wristbands, I was trying to put together what they were all about and what you had them for, and then I realized with all the dicks you suck at Twitch, you gotta like stop the spit from coming down. <laughs> I figured it out. I figured it out. I didn't know you were going to be here, so I wrote that like five seconds ago. Uh, RSQ Viper. Um, great guy. Uh, I've actually got a story about time travel here. This isn't the first time I've come back in time. This is the second time. The first time I came back, I, uh, I actually tuned into your stream, and it was so fucking boring. I slipped into a coma and woke up back in the future. I was like, God damn it! I'm back! So they sent me back again. They sent me back again. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I've never watched your stream. I don't know who the fuck you <laughs> Um, let's see. Zeke! Love this guy. I love you. Uh, but you are one of the biggest crybaby bitches that I know. <laughs> You're like a mix between the Tasmanian Devil the Incredible Hulk, and the 40-year-old virgin. No matter how often you change your hair, you will never get with girls, man. It is not, you're gonna change your look as much as you want, it's not gonna happen. How's Bashi coming along, dude? Did man like tell you that that would get you chicks? It, it won't. I don't know, maybe it will, I don't know. Ask man. Uh, <laughs> It's people like you, Zeke, that help me to understand how the sex doll business exists. <laughs> now I get it. Uh, John Carnage, Mr. Twitch Cool Guy. <laughs> he's, like, he's like the Fonz, hey. <laughs> or like, he's like the mix between the Fonz and Officer Doofy from Scary Movie. <laughs> Whatever, that's fucking uh, All right. That's cool. That's cool. How is, uh, how's your relationship going? Uh, you and Soma. <laughs> I heard you guys had meetings, you guys just rail each other. <laughs> that's all I got. I don't... <laughs> that's all I got for you. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, Spam. Spamfish, everybody. The man himself. People always say like, oh yeah, I can't understand him and stuff. Don't worry, we've had a team of scientists in the future working on it. And we've come up with all of the phrases that if you combine these together and rearrange them in different ways, it is a spam fish stream. I'm gonna have you come up and read these words. And it'll just be like you're streaming. It'll be just like you're streaming. Go ahead, right here. Cake, money, seagulls, fogging fog, science strats. Here, boy, the bears, I'm so salty, the fogging bears. Charleston, sports, yes, yeah, son, Illuminati. Illuminati lizard people. Big ups to the lurkers, I'm a scrub. Big ups to the scrubs. Trev, fogging Trev. Cake, seagulls, money, cake, science, fog. Trev, money, lurkers, money. All the things, I eat penis. Yeah. Sam, I love you, dude. I'm, I'm happy to be here. You're the best. You're one of my faves, dude. For real. Okay. Uh, please give a warm round of applause for RSQ Viper. mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, I just want to talk about Future Man's outfit. He's like, what the fuck do I put on to look like the biggest asshole on the stage? This is it. What do those glasses do? He wears these glasses. Do they work? He doesn't even use them. Look, what the fuck are they doing? They don't help do shit. 
We'll just make you look like a bigger penis. John. Yeah. I hardly know you. Shut the fuck up, dude. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Passed on. Hey, man. Thanks for showing up, bro. Appreciate it. Glad you're here. I don't know what else to say about you, man. Except, uh... <laughs> supposed to be here. You're not. <laughs> no, see, that's it. You, you actually were. Thank God someone told you you're supposed to be here. Because you were like, w what? What the fuck? A roast? The thing I've been tweeting about for the last two months? Appreciate it. <laughs> Zeke! You pray to a taco-eating monkey, bro. <laughs> He's... <laughs> it's a gorilla. It is a gorilla. He's fucking crazy, I don't really want to piss him off, so I'm just going... <laughs> fucking nuts. Oh, no. Sour Kool-Aid Show. The guy who was, went to a random name generator and just made up his fucking name. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of ideas, and I'm high watching TV, so I'm just gonna put this into a box, and it's gonna give me a name. And he rolled with it, the first thing that popped up. Really? All right. Good job, dude. <laughs> Bam! You look fabulous. <laughs> this is a dude who literally took the song Thrift Shop way too seriously. <laughs> See, it's the only guy I know who went to a movie premiere where The Rock was and was like, these people are wearing beautiful clothes, beautiful dresses, jewelry. I think I'll wear a bright green polo shirt. The whole time, the photo photographers were telling The Rock, can you move? The homeless guy keeps getting in behind you. <laughs> Bright green, that's... And I talked to him two days before. I'm like, make sure you buy a shirt. He's like, I'm gonna. And he said, fuck that. Going to the thrift shop. <sighs> Takes Macklemore a little too seriously. He leaves his flat, and he's like, what, 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 what? And then his uh, landlord just chasing him, like, you owe me rent money. He's like, man, the bears suck, and uh, I have sports depression again. I just can't pay right now. <laughs> Pretty sure he made up that sports depression. Is that a real thing? Yes. It's real? Oh, really? Did he tell you that? I'm almost positive that he told you that. He's like, no, it's real. It's science. I swear to God. I, I <laughs> science. science. <laughs> Science. What the fuck, man? I think if you just stopped rooting for bad sports teams, Charlton, the Bears, you'd be a lot happier. Just cut Jay Cutler right out of your life, bro. He is a mess. He does remind me of somebody, though. You! He sucks at his job! <laughs> He's terrible. Just cut him right out of your life, bro. His second broadcast, I showed up to it because he begged me. So I showed up and I uh, said, nice place. He's like, actually, it really sucks. I'm moving out as soon as possible. That was like six years ago. He's still working on it. <laughs> Sooner or later, you'll get out of there. He's totally apartment hunting right now. I'm actually a little worried about Spam. First time I ever met him, I gave him a nice big hug. Something cracked. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I barely touched him, but he is a weak son of a bitch. <laughs> I think he uh, might smoke a few too many cigarettes during his broadcast. Most people are made out of 60% water. He's got 60% cigarette smoke just floating on through there. I would just like to point you towards actual food sometimes. Water, nourish yourself and then you won't look like a person who's about to just die right now on this stage. <laughs> Are you doing okay though? Do you need a cigarette? How long has it been? Are you good? You good? Okay, I'm gonna drag it out. I wanna see what happens. <laughs> just dragging it out. But seriously, a couple pointers. Sandwiches, not cigarettes. I want you to drink water. It is not poison, no matter what your parents told you, because they don't love you. And for fuck's sake, 
do something about your hair. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> Man versus game. Buildup was for. Uh, I don't have anything ready. Uh, I'm not even really supposed to be here. You see, long ago when Sour Kool Aid Show started these wonderful roasts, I perpetrated the ultimate roast of my best friend Ezekiel the Third by not even having the decency to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Talks just broke down about payment. Uh, it just wasn't enough. <laughs> so yeah, I was totally gonna bitch out on this, and then my replacement Soma bitched out on my replacement. So now here I am, just going off the dome. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, it's great. All these guys have been walking up here with their little notebooks, you know, full of their hilarious jokes. Here we go. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go down the line. Dan Paul, would you just pick a name already? Like, <laughs> one of these guys, it's like, it doesn't make you seem more intellectual, okay? It's like... You're Paul. Okay. The Sour Kool Aid Show. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys, you know, went up before me so that I had to follow like all these wonderfully written out uh, uh, jokes. Sour Kool Aid Show. Like the sour, drunken, just fallen down, like just somebody cut him off show sometimes. <laughs> I've never seen a show where like the gimmicks are so inherently written in, you know, to involve like the, the alcohol, you know, being imbibed. Uh, but we all know that I also like to have fun with, with my broadcast as well, so pot, meat, kettle. <laughs> I feel like I should have more biting commentary for like, one of my old best buddies. Uh, Paul, you just, you're too old. <laughs> it's like, I get a ton of shit for being the old guy, okay? This guy was a senior in high school when I was a freshman. So he's old. <laughs> Burn. All right, well, we'll come back. We'll come back to Dan Paul, Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> That's my name, too. <laughs> RSQ Viper. Yay. <laughs> I, think, I think it stands for really shitty quality Viper. <laughs> Not sure. This is right off the dome, people. <laughs> Uh, RSQ Viper, you know, he, he's been around, he's part of the old guard, back those JTV days. Uh, he was really smart when he made his, his username back at, at JTV, because uh, it was already his Hotmail account where you could email him at <laughs> RSQ Viper. <laughs> so extreme. I haven't watched your cast either, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have. I love you, man. <laughs> Mr. Carnage. God, see, this is, you, know, you know why this is so difficult? Because, yes, 
I have so much genuine love for each guy up on this, on this stage right now. It's like, it's hurting me to do this right now. <laughs> yeah, right. It's also hurting me to look at that shirt, Carnage. Hey, man, I look good. What were you I thinking? I look good. I feel good, too. Did you, did you like, raid somebody's clothesline in the tenderloin before you came down here? <laughs> There's some local humor there. <laughs> Carnage. <laughs> Twitch really, really fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> this is no lie. I remember watching Carnage uh, back when he was on the Destructoid uh, stream. Back when Destructoid well, before Destructoid uh, d d destroyed itself. <laughs> and uh, I remember when you announced when you were, you were hired by Twitch, and I was just like, what are they thinking? Yeah, I know. It's like, this guy, what's he going to bring to the table? It's like, again, see, see, I'm not supposed to do this, but like, the truth is, like, he's just so good at what he does. It's like, Shit! <laughs> we'll come back to you, Carnage. <laughs> Future man gaming. <laughs> is everybody from the future as nasal, nasally as you? <laughs> like. The only voice that I can think of that's even, even harder to understand and, and more nasal is, is your, your robot friend who helps you. Uh, I'm going to burn you in the stylings of, of your bot friend. <laughs> what? We get it. You know how to hook up a synthesizer to your microphone. No one's impressed. Okay, maybe a little bit. Also, that tracksuit. I'm just saying. Like... <laughs> Going through, like, the real ass shit, yeah. Oh my God, Zeke, E Zeke, E L, three. It's like they should have stopped at two. Uh, how are the coattails back there? They're Well, I, I'm sure it's hard to, to keep a grip on those coattails when they're just ratted from just being ridden hard <laughs> for so long. <laughs> and for God's sake, give Dan Paul, Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, room! <laughs> exactly. It's like, Zeke is like uh, the suckling pig at my teat. Who just won't have anybody else suckling on my other teeth? So like he wants all the man teeth. And he gets all the man teeth. <laughs> Zeke, in all honesty, it's been amazing just watching you slowly morph into an over the hill professional wrestler. I just want to say, these guys up here on station, just calm down. You have a microphone for a reason. Just conserve the voice, brother. Or don't. <laughs> I feel like I could just spend all night on Zeke here. But, uh... <laughs>
But I'm getting paid by the hour, and it started when this uh, little event started, so I, I'm going to have to just move it right along. Oh, <laughs> I guess that leaves us with the man of the evening, the fish of the evening. Yeah. Consistency. <laughs> that is the key. This fucking guy. <laughs> just literally doubles over in humility, like practically kowtows to every single person you meet at these conventions. Could be like the doorman, he's just like, oh, I'm such a huge fan of how you open the door. It's just, oh, it's amazing, it's just, I can't get enough. It's like, <laughs> Maybe be a bit more selective with who you choose to idolize. <laughs> also, who do you think you're fooling? I mean, it's like, oh, I need to go take a smoke break. Comes back from the break. He is literally watching a replay of the same run in Trials Fusion, thinking he's playing the game. <laughs> and, and, and he is astounded that he keeps crashing at precisely the same spot. <laughs> Spam, old buddy. They know. <laughs> Consistency. <laughs> if you haven't watched those highlights yet, dumb overload and consistency. Seriously, the two greatest highlights on Twitch. I just, <laughs> just want to say, You've got to be the most American Brit I have ever met. Like, I think you love my culture more than, than I do. I mean, it's, I feel like I should just take some kind of interest in, in footy and have tea and crumpets just to offset, like, just the sheer goddamn Americanness of this guy. American football, hip hop, GTA, uh, rock and roll, drugs. America. America. <laughs> but that's why I respect his fanfish. Uh, seriously, this guy. I almost bust into tears talking about this guy because he's so sickeningly humble and gracious and well-spoken. This roast didn't turn out like I had hoped. <laughs> Working with a bunch of guys as talented as, as all of these men on this stage, it's, it's difficult coming up with jokes on the fly. To try, to try and roast them. I tried. But I got a lot of dicks need sucking. So uh, I'd best be on my way. I don't have a great closer. So fuck all y'all. <laughs> Mr. John Carnage. Oh man, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck?
We couldn't have just done this in your hotel room, Spam. It would have been way cooler. Because I can't believe actually this many people showed up to make fun of you. And I'm just talking about the people on stage. What is going on? Oh my God, you guys are so sweet. They actually couldn't make too much fun of me because I'm the only guy on stage who's actually going to fuck tonight. So, uh, and it's true. My girlfriend's in the crowd. You look around. Also because I uh, sign their paychecks sometimes. Ah. As I look on the stage over here, I just want to start out with, uh, your name's Viper, right? <laughs> is that you? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> I've been told you stream on Twitch. I, I, that's it, that's all I got for you. <laughs> one day I'll find your channel, maybe. What do you got, zero people? Maybe you'll break to one? <laughs> to get that one, that 100 never happened. But I, I, maybe, maybe. Man vs. Game, my homeboy. My dog, we go way back! Man vs. Unemployment. <laughs> Couldn't get a job at Toys R Us one time. I was there for you, man. Now you're doing well. With all this work that you're doing, all this money you're making, why aren't you fucking eating? <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? I ain't got time. Oh, you got no time, right? It's all the dicks. <laughs> well, you can swallow what they give you if you want. DP. What a great name, huh? <laughs> hey guys, my name's DP. That's what you were doing back there, right? <laughs> Apparently, the only line DP can remember is the line of coke that he just snorted off of Ezekiel's cock in the back. <laughs> but, but good for, uh, but good for DP. It's pretty much drug-free because there's not much dick. <laughs> Zeke, I love you. I'm happy you finally made it here. I was worried that you were just going to disappear. But that's a joke between you and I. <laughs> Future man! Future man! Future man! What are you gonna do when that gimmick dries up, bitch? You could probably keep dancing, but the only pole you're gonna dance on is one that you probably don't want to dance on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think I covered everybody. And uh, so, spam! It's, uh, it's only you left. And, uh, I really didn't come up with anything for you because you're so fucking lazy, I decided to not write a single joke for you. But I actually have a friend of mine here, an actual friend of mine, a person I care about. Fred Durst is going to come up here and just tell you how I think about you. Whoa! Take your time, Fred. Yeah. This is actually him. Now, Fred, don't rush. Don't rush because this motherfucker doesn't deserve you walking too fast. So you just fucking take your sweet time. We let this guy know what, what I think about him, okay? This is actually Fred Durst. Yeah. When we were here, he broke something. Literally broke something in the fucking hallway. I was like, what the fuck, Fred? <laughs> yeah, take your time. Sweet time. There you go. <laughs> now let him know. How do I feel about this guy, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is him. Yeah. He's <laughs> canceling <laughs> Yeah. That's great. All right. Oh. I got some salt. I got some salt. Here you go. Oh. Oh. Nice to <laughs> You notice how I started classy and I didn't use any expletives and stuff and they just brought it to the show. Like, it only seems right now that we bring the target to the stand to defend himself from these accusations. Spam fish, deliver. Oh my God! I, I, I just, I'm just, I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> Fred Durst. Oh my God! Round of applause for Fred Durst, ladies and gentlemen, an absolute legend. I can't believe he's here. Unfortunately, I have nothing prepared, so I'll just keep rolling. Um, uh, uh, first, first man up, uh, Dan Paul, of course. Uh, you know, thank you to Dan Paul for this opportunity because Twitch didn't give me shit this year to host. So I'm glad. I'm glad someone gave me something because clearly 
I need that salt because uh, I wasn't required to host, even though I've done other stuff. So, oh well. And thank you to uh, Gassy Mexican and Co Carnage and and uh, anyone else that turned down the roast because obviously I was not the first choice. So, thank you to all those people that, that turned down the roast so I could be here. I appreciate that. And uh, Darren Paul, it must be inspiring to see that you know. Uh, you know, a ten-year-old imaginings these crazy, you know, for Iron Face is far more interesting than any character you've invented recently. It's like, <laughs> like that's you know, you, you, you know, you're using any kind of thing you can get. You know, you bring on what two-bit comedians so you can laugh at them and pretend that you're more successful because you're actually hosting them to your viewers and you know. One day, maybe you'll have some one bit comedians on when Zeke obviously uh, ends his career in a shambles. And, uh, but, but I'll save Zeke for later. Um, uh, it's, it's inspiring to see you know, Dan Paul not play video games and make a success of Twitch. And it's great that you know, someone that you know, doesn't play video games and just essentially is trying to fuel the last vestiges of his comedic career can actually be successful. Uh, you know. So anyone that drops out of anything. You know, you can, you can come do this. Uh, um, it shows the, the quality of Twitch that two of the biggest casters, Zeke and uh, Dan Paul, are both foul comedians. Great endorsement of uh, the quality of programming on Twitch TV right now. Uh, it shows. Um, uh, I've got one more thing for you, but I can't find it. Uh, but yeah, like you can't find anything else. Uh, but no, Zeke, Zeke, again. Uh, I'm going to repeat some stuff that I said at your roast because that's what you do every cast is just repeat the same tired jokes like I said before like you're just essentially using your old career as a pawn shop person selling off any tired joke, mechanic, any kind of gimmick you can get your hands on you use your dad, your mum, your brothers, a teddy bear who else are you going to use? To get away from the fact that you need to be entertaining. You, not everyone else. Yeah, you need to be entertaining. And it's, it's a great job that you've done so much charity work because obviously that's going to come back round when the fundraiser for Zeke comes up in a couple of years. Like, and we're, get ready for that. We'll be ready. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, also, uh, thanks for inviting me to your more dinner, which I didn't get invited to at all. Thanks. I thought we were friends. Thanks. You Thanks. wouldn't eat anything! Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, but you know, you are like a great example and a great testament to how streaming for a career completely destroy your body, destroy your look, and make you look terrible. I swear somewhere there's a picture of uh, a lesbian who's like getting more beautiful and more buff called the picture of Dorian Dickhead. Uh, so somewhere that is happening because. You know, if anyone, is this like a before and after after someone's had a good diet, but the other way around? Before and after streaming, but reversed, which is, which is great. Uh, next, man. Man, how much did you get paid to show up today? You must have been paid something, because you don't show up to anything else unless you're paid to. Why, why, you know, come. But, you know, it's, you know, you are, you know, you're an inspiration to me, and I'm, I'm glad you get so much inspiration from Daniel Day Lewis, you know. Uh, that there will be blood, you know, like, no, I don't want to see anyone else succeed. And it's good to see after your... <laughs> it's good to see after, like, a 40-hour stream, you're more like Daniel Day-Lewis from my left foot. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's always good to see that trajectory of, of performance. It's great stuff, and, uh, you know... It's also, you know, it's good to see these long streams, because obviously, you know, you can't be the biggest streamer on Twitch anymore, because Lyric's more successful. So the only way you can be the best at something is to stream for the longest, because you've got to be the best at something, clearly. <laughs> like, because that's the only way you can feel good about yourself. So, yeah, whatever it takes, wh whatever it takes. Um, uh, Oh yeah, by the way, anyone that subs to his channel, you sub to his channel, you're lucky you get his attention, let alone he doesn't time you out for having a different opinion for him. But you know what? I missed your sub, you're lucky I even let you chat in my room. That's, that's the attitude that everyone loves. Thank you so much. And Future Man Gaming, nice, nice moves, FMG, NERF. Here's a great one for the future. BOG, burned out gimmick. Uh, in two years, there's the future. 
should be, it should be good. You know, you come from the future and yet you're using the same tired, established formulas. You've got the green screen, you've got the beard, you've got the flashy intros. You know, I thought you were from the future, not from Twitch two years ago, you know? <laughs> what, 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 what are you going to bring? What are you going to learn? It shows you that as long as you, you know, distract your viewers with sub alerts and noises and sounds, you don't have to play games. You and Zeke are uh, inspirations to anyone that just not interested in games. Uh, it's uh, quality. All you need uh, to do is incessantly ram your gimmick down people's throats and people will watch. It's great. It's awesome to see. <laughs> it's great. Thank you. And uh, Viper, Viper, you are sincerely the nicest, one of the nicest guys, one of the most entertaining, humblest guys. And it shows you that don't mean shit on Twitch. <laughs> All you need to be is have a gimmick. Just get a gimmick. Just get a gimmick. That's all you need is a gimmick. It's, it's all many gimmicks. And also, you know, you were talking about my hair. I'm so inspired by your Donald Trump hair, how you pretend with hairspray and like some fluffed up, fogged up look that you're not actually going bald. So thank you for inspiring me. Thank you for inspiring me that way. You give me hope to proceeding hairline men everywhere. Uh, and you, you know, you, you, you show everyone in life, you know, you've got a beautiful home, you've got a beautiful wife, two beautiful kids. But none of that really means anything on Twitch as long as you can be talking trash to 12 year olds in games rated for adults. Call of Duty and you know, that's, that's the most important thing in life. Not a home or family, it's just feeling good in front of some 12 year olds apparently. Um, and finally, I think we've got John Carney. Uh, with all seriousness, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for John Carnage. Uh, but I've got to say a few things. Wait, where's my Carnage thing? I've lost my notes. Foulfish, here we go, live, direct. I've actually lost my notes. Thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, I forgot to say about Future Man. Here we go. Professional. <laughs> future Man Gaming. I know what takes over in the future. It's the fogging stuff in that chill suit of yours. I don't know what is growing, but there is some organism from the future that's going to take over from inside that suit. Because, dude, that is rank. Oh, my God. <laughs> and uh, finally, John Carnage. Are, are you a real person? Are you not some like fever dream from the 80s and 90s with Mighty Vice? Like, I swear you're not actually real, and you know, it's all fire, fire, man, that's so fire, dog, fire, fire. If there was ever a fire or a dog on fire in the Twitch offices, no one would pay any attention. <laughs> that thing would burn down. Fire, dog, my ears are melting. Oh, he's clearly listening to SoundCloud and his new music. Oh, fire, man, dude, it's so hot. Oh, I'm so happy that, you know, you don't actually spend any time at the Twitch office, because obviously they would burn down. Uh, also, you know, you are a wrestling fan, and you know, you, you've got a lot of inspiration from um, wrestling. All hype, no content. Whatever. Oh. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Just, just Fuck like this wrestling. Guy. Just like wrestling. And you know, you, you have inspired me by showing that you don't need any talent, any plan, any idea whatsoever. As long as you just say words funnily, you can make success on Twitch. So you've inspired me to do that. And uh, I think that's everyone that I've got. So I just want to say for seriousness, thank you to every single one of you gentlemen for inspiring me to live this incredible lifestyle. I am blessed and lucky to, to be here in front of all you wonderful people, to be live on Twitch. And, you know, if it wasn't for man, if it wasn't for people like here, I wouldn't be doing this. And, you know, a few years ago I was unemployed and, you know, I was just living my life, I had no direction. And now I'm part of one of the most amazing communities on the internet. And I just want to thank each and every one of you for this incredible opportunity. Bleed purple. Bleed purple. Thank you. While he's hugging those people, we see, we got a we got a little short uh, announcement thing that we want to do for DP. So uh, uh, yeah, Death Scope, are you out there? Or did they? You you didn't leave. Oh, or Josta, do you want to come up? Josta, come on up. Uh, we got something to, to show and tell you, DP. Yeah, just real quick, real quick. You know you do, no, don't rush. I guess. No. <laughs> There's Death Scope. Yeah, come on up. Come on up. Dan Paul. Hi. 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 From the Cooligans. Yes. Yes, sir. 
All of us have got together. All of us have got together for to you know repay you for everything you've done with our with your stream and to pay back you know everything you've given us from you know a comedy standpoint and all the things you're doing on Twitch, um, innovation and all the all these things. So a bunch of us got together um, and we have commissioned Mr. Def Sculpt here to build you and stream this. An Iron Face bust, just like the Kappa bust, fully painted. He is going, it's going to look amazing. It will have a mold, and you can create these if you want to. And he's going to stream this on Twitch so you and everybody else here can actually see this being made. That is crazy. Oh, very kind of them. Um, thank you very much for coming. Uh, this means a lot to me. Um, honestly, like, what you do in life really should echo in eternity. Laugh. Have a good time. Have fun. Like, this is, this is, we're only here now, in the present. Stay here. And uh, this, this has been great. Thank you very much for uh, being a part of this, and thank you guys for showing up because uh, it's very important to me. So, I don't know, I have nothing else to say. Thank you very much.